In today's video, I'm going to show you the top five crypto yield farms for August 2024. These are DeFi applications where you can deposit your crypto to either earn high yields or to potentially qualify for airdrops. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. Quick reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's solely intended to be used for educational purposes. Now let's get into it. Before I get into the actual farms this month, let's set up a quick framework for how exactly we're going to go about looking at these farms. First thing, and the most important rule whenever you're using yield farms or airdrop farms in crypto, is you always want to find farms where you can deploy tokens that you want to hold anyways. What that means is you do not want to find something that has a high APR just for the sake of it having a high APR and then buy that token, which you know nothing about, solely to deposit it in that farm. Because more often than not, those yields are going to drop eventually, and then you could be stuck holding a token that you don't want to hold, and it might go down in price because of inflation. So we're going to look at farms today that focus on using what I would consider to be blue chip or near blue chip assets. And in today's video, I'm especially going to look at things that either have sustainable yield from application fees or that have some sort of special incentives program going where for the next few weeks or next month, you can soak up some highly elevated yields. All right, so let's look into the farms for this month. First couple I'm going to look at are going to be on Solana. Solana is one of our favorite chains on this channel. We've been farming on it since last summer, which is almost a year now. And it's just been doing phenomenal across almost every single metric. Total value locked is not quite at an all-time high because all-time high is from 2021, but it's at the highest point it's been in almost three years. And volume has also been holding up very well, regularly flipping Ethereum on certain days. So how can we take advantage of that? Well, the first thing is, and this was one of my top farms last month, it's going to continue to be one of my top farms, is Jupiter. If you've used Solana, there's a good chance you've used Jupiter because it's the leading DEX aggregator on Solana. But it's also the leading perp exchange on Solana. We'll accept and continue. And the perp, as a perp exchange, you can trade with leverage on here. You can trade SOL, you can trade ETH, you can trade BTC. And the volume on this is extremely strong. July, today's the last day of July, and it is the highest volume month ever. And that's in a time when overall interest in the crypto market has dipped from where it was earlier this year, but interest or at least trading volume on Jupiter is growing. And what you can do is you can actually provide liquidity to people who are trading perps and in exchange, you get a portion of their fees. In fact, 75% of the generated fees are allocated towards people who are providing liquidity. There's currently $572 million provided, so you're not at risk of diluting it and it seems like they're generating enough fees to to um sustain a huge number of depositors right there's more than half a billion dollars deposited and what makes this even better if you're not familiar with jlp is it is comprised entirely of soul eth rat btc and stable coins 44.5 percent soul 9.5 percent eth 9 percent rat btc and the rest usdc and usdt and it's earning 74 percent on top of that from all of these things um you know about once a week i get tempted to just throw my entire crypto portfolio in here and forget about it uh, unfortunately can't do that because because i have to keep making uh, videos and and there are always smaller opportunities out there but for someone who just wants a simple pool they want to get exposure to a few blue chip assets that will roughly should perform in line with the market overall with some of the volatility muted because of stable coins but replacing that volatility with yield, I think JLP is pretty good. Now, it's not without risk. I've covered these extensively in other videos. You are basically betting on the traders on Jupiter losing money. If they make money in aggregate, then that's coming from JLP. But historically, price of JLP has gone up. That's the first pool. Second pool is also on Solana. And this is a different one because this is a pure stablecoin pool. I found this one by going to Camino, liquidity, and then filtered to stablecoins. And right now, PayPal is running an incentives program for their Pi USD. So you can deposit Pi USD with USDC or Pi USD with USDT and earn 16 to 
on those stable coins. And while Pi USD is not one of the top stable coins in crypto, because it's created by PayPal, I would have a very, very high degree of confidence that Pi USD is going to stay pegged at $1, or in the event that it depegged briefly for some reason, that PayPal would make up the difference. Uh, again, because they're a massive, well known, publicly traded company that has every incentive to ensure that this stays pegged. The third yield farm for this month is Pell Network, and this one stands out because it's one of the fastest growing applications across nearly every Bitcoin L2, and that's because Pell is a BTC restaking network. Basically what it does is it allows you to restake your BTC to, in theory, secure other applications or chains that will eventually use that restaked BTC. And as a result, you earn points towards a future Pell network airdrop. So it's kind of like Eigenlayer, if you remember that from Ethereum, but for the larger Bitcoin ecosystem. And I actually think that this, in terms of eventual potential, has poten probably the potential to grow at least as much as Eigenlayer. And the reason for that is that first off, Bitcoin is significantly larger than Ethereum. So that total market is larger on its own, but also Ethereum right now, you can earn yield through staking. So the restaking yield is incremental. Bitcoin, you're not earning yield normally because it's not a proof of stake coin. It's a, it's a proof of work network. And so uh, if you want to earn yield on Bitcoin, you don't have as many options. Pell basically gives you a way to do that. And you can see that it's quite popular. <laughs> There's nearly $200 million restaked. And interestingly, that's done across a number of different networks. It's on BitLayer, BounceBit, Merlin, BNB Smart Chain, B Squared, Core, BEVM, Mantle, Scroll, and BOB. So almost every Bitcoin layer two and sidechain. You can see there's all these different types of BTC here that you can deposit. And so if you're using the Bitcoin ecosystem, if you're using Bitcoin DeFi, I think Pell Network is a is a worthwhile place to put some of your Bitcoin right now. They have an ongoing points program. Some of these things are social tasks and some of them are special tasks related to how long you've deposited your Bitcoin in here. So understand that any sort of DeFi application carries smart contract risk, uh, but I think this is a pretty interesting opportunity and it are, each Bitcoin earns 10 points per hour, if you're curious. So that is Pell Network, yield farm number three. Yield farm number four is going to be on Beefy. Beefy is one of the top yield aggregators across dozens of different chains. It's a great place to find new sources of yield. And they now have a concentrated liquidity manager as well. So what I'm looking at specifically on Beefy is their Arbitrum pools. And I'm looking at Arbitrum pools that contain two things, this CLM vault. So that's Beefy managing concentrated liquidity and also these Arbitrum long-term incentives. So Arbitrum is giving out ARB incentives to certain pools on their network. And you can see here for certain of these beefy pools, for example, RS ETH and Wrapped ETH or WE ETH Wrapped ETH, because of the combination of concentrated liquidity and the Arbitrum incentives, you can earn 14 to 30% on ETH just by depositing in these pools. So I, I think that this is is a pretty good place to earn some yield on ETH. The incentives won't last forever, right? Uh, soaking them up while they exist. But in the meantime, I think that this is a good place to earn yield. And Beefy, they've been around for over three years now. Uh, anything can happen in DeFi, but protocol with a very great reputation and a very great track record. Finally, I have a couple farms on Ton. Ton, aka the Open Network, we've been covering on this channel a lot is the Telegram affiliated network. And it's been growing like crazy this year. Total value locked up from around $58 million at the start of the year to over $1 billion now. And Ton currently is like Arbitrum running an incentives program where they're distributing Ton to certain pools. And specifically, they're distributing it to the Ton USDT pools. So if you go over to StonFi, for example, and you deposit into this ton USDT liquidity pool. 
you can see the yield on the pool itself is nothing crazy, right? It's like 2.5%, but the yield, if you then farm that because they have these additional ton incentives is 47%. Similarly on DDust, the APR on this ton USDT pool is 49%. And so by holding Ton with some of the volatility muted because half of the pool is going to be USDT, you can actually earn nearly 50% yield. And I think that's pretty good proposition. If you want to get more frequent yield farms of the week, on-chain analysis, token unlocks, and more, be sure to check out my newsletter at dynamodefi.substack.com. We have things here like recommended reading, farms of the week, tool spotlights and more everything you need to get the week started in crypto and for more videos like this one be sure to like and subscribe until next time this is dynamo DeFi.